Okay guys, Jay Prada Performance here. This will be a quick one. I've been informed I need to start making these quicker. Tiffany is kind of getting on me about being long-winded and wants to kind of keep these videos down. You know, 10 minutes or less, even preferably 5 minutes or less. So, she says I'm rambling on too much. So, I probably am. And I apologize for that. And if you don't know who Tiffany is, she's El Presidente, and uh, yeah, she likes to give me a hard time, that's for sure. So, uh, But she's pretty cool. I'll take you over to the other shop one day and show you her cars and things. She's got pretty good taste in cars. So, Anyways, uh, I got a woman here asking me to be done in under two to three minutes. So let's get after it. How often does a woman want you to be done in less than two minutes? Leave it to me. So anyways, we're going to talk about, and I've covered this in some other videos and things, so this is just going to be a quick one here. So basically people ask about this all the time. They want to convert these to roller bearings, or some people call it rollerizing, or whatever terminology you like. And what that means is replacing the original thrust washers, they're just a friction washer, and replacing them with a, a roller type bearing, a needle thrust bearing, uh, is what this is. So, what you have to understand, and I've kind of covered this if, if you look at some of the other videos in this series, kind of talked about what's necessary and what isn't. And I don't like to do anything that's not necessary, just a waste of time and money. And bearings, you know, can be temperamental also. Thrust washers are, they're kind of bulletproof, but they don't like sustain very heavy loads because the oil kind of gets, oil can't really get between them sometimes when there's a lot of load on things. So, and what creates load is your helical cut gears and things. If it was a transmission that had straight cut gears and you don't have a lot of thrust load, doing barons is really a waste of time and something like that. So... This transmission has a lot of helical cut gears, and the advantage to those is it makes the gear train quiet, but it also adds thrust load. So what we're going to focus on, where the loads are in the transmission. And in other videos, I've covered where the loads are not. Here's all you need to do, and we sell this stuff on the website. It's very simple. You can do it yourself if you have a lathe or a milling machine or a buddy with a machine shop or whatever, but... Most of you don't. If you just want to do this, this is easy. So, okay, first piece, number nine kit. Just a new inner race with a bearing. You just bolt that in, done. I think that piece is, I don't know, 40 or $45. Not a big deal. Here's the other piece, reverse planet gear. It's got a bearing on this side, and it's got a bearing on this side. You don't have to cut hubs. You don't have to do anything special. If you buy this from us, you just put it in. Real easy. And just put. make sure the black side is showing on both sides. That's the proper way to install those bearings. I just stuck them on there with some assembly lube so they stay on. but And they don't fall out when you have lube on them. So it makes it real easy to put in. So done. 105 bucks, I think, on that piece. Now, forward hub, and it's got a bearing here. You're just going to put this on your ring gear, and that's it. And this piece, I think, is 40 bucks. But what you got to know is there's two different ones. Okay, if you look at these here, there's two different heights. So, see this one has this extra ridge, and this one over here does not. This one here without the ridge is a 1976 and newer. So when you order this from us, if it does not have the ridge, it's a 1976 and newer. So order that one. If you have this ridge here, it's a 1975 and older. You just order that style. And that's all you need to do is those three pieces. This is really simple. Don't overcomplicate this. Yes, you can put bearings in other locations, but... You're just wasting your money, in my opinion. There's no load in the other spots. These are the spots that matter. This is what I do here. You can do more, but 
you're really not going to get any gain from it. Not necessarily going to hurt anything, but just no real gain. So that's it. And I went five minutes. And between that and my comments earlier, this is either not going to get published or maybe I'm going to get fired this time. So anyways, uh, maybe I'll see you again. Maybe I won't. Thanks a lot.